Connection cubes are new features inside of SDS2 2022 that aim to facilitate communication between connection design engineers and their clients who may be engineers of record, fabricators, or detailers. These advanced PDF reports encompass the entire structural node rather than only member ends. And what I can include in the report would be scheduled minimums, 2D details, an embedded U3D, allowable strength summaries, expanded calculations. I can add in my additional notes, add in my own cover sheet or any other attachments needed. To begin creating a connection cube, you'll want the connection cube add tool, which you can find a couple different ways. I can search for it up in my find area and then you'll see a list of other commands associated with the connection cube that will be covered in another video. I can also change my selection filter to connection components and then select the connection components that I want to include. Then a contextual ribbon will show up and I can do the add connection cube. In my display options, I do have the option to show connection cubes. And once a connection cube is created, I can then start modifying how I want that report to look. I can name this, so I'll name this my end plate shared connection. I'll include my schedule of minimums, which would be applicable to what is inside that connection cube. So I can have a schedule of minimums for structural members, which would be for any non single plate shear connection or schedule of minimums for single plate shear connections. I can include a 2D detail. An embedded U3D would be included with holes, bolts, and welds can be added. If a user were to supply their own calculations, then maybe they don't want to include the expanded calculations and only the allowable strength summaries. I can supply any additional notes that I want to be included in that report. So maybe is this shared connection acceptable as shown in the connection report? If I have any additional attachments to include, so I can add in my own cover sheet, my own calculations, or in this case, if I want to add in my own erection view. Once I have added in my attachments, then I can include them in my table of contents on the right hand side and adjust the order that they want them to be viewed in. So I could attach this to a specific member end or I can just move this over into the table of contents and move it up or down. When I'm ready, I can generate the report and there's an auto view checkbox that will automatically view in my PDF viewer. It will say that the connection cube needs to be detailed the first time that that connection cube is made. Before creating this report, I could have detailed that connection cube and gone in and adjusted the detail, but I will go and do that in another video. I'll then pick my destination on where I want to save this PDF. Now that it's opened in Bluebeam, I can then go to my bookmarks area and take a look at my report. I would have my cover sheet first if I were to include that, my schedule of minimums, my 2D detail, like I stated, I would probably want to go in and fix this up a little bit, which I will in my next video, and I can then edit that back in SDS2. You can see the U3D is embedded in this side of the PDF, and I can rotate around, and depending on what views I have added to that 2D detail will be determined which views I can drop down. If I click on a piece, then all of the metadata will show up. Then you have the design strength summaries. And expanded calculations for those member ends that are included in the connection cube. 